this one that I have here today is a uh, another Irish whiskey that I went ahead and picked up, a uh, different one that I wanted to go ahead and try, um, one that I had actually heard a good bit about online as far as being a, uh, I guess like a step up from your just typical, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill Irish whiskeys. Um, so, um, yeah, wanted to go ahead and pick this one up and see what I thought about it. And uh, that is the uh, Bushmills uh, Black Bush Irish Whiskey uh, from the Bushmills Distillery, obviously, uh, which they were, uh, I believe, one of the original uh, whiskey distilleries in Ireland, uh, established in 1608. This one in particular here is a blend, but it is more of a blend towards the single malt leading side um i believe 80 percent single malt 20 percent uh grain whiskey so uh yeah wanted to pick it up and try it also it is matured and oloroso spanish sherry casks so it's also a sherry cask finish uh whiskey a particular style i have not had uh prior to this one at all so uh yeah wanted to go ahead and give it a shot so we'll go ahead and uh Pop this one open and pour a little taste out here. 80 proof on this one as well. Um, nothing too crazy with the uh, proof on it. Uh, I think there's even, I believe, cask strength Irish whiskeys. Uh, I'm not sure which one that was. I don't think it was a red breast. I believe it was a different one that I've noticed. But, uh, yeah, I've wanted to try things like uh, I've had the... Jameson, the uh, Jameson's uh, Castmates, the Stout Edition, uh, the Bushmill Standard I've had. I've had the Bushmill Standard, though that was a while back, number a number of years back that I've had that, and I don't think I really, at the time when I was drinking, it was really uh, trying to uh, actually taste it or anything like that. I think I was just kind of drinking with some friends or something like that back in college, so... That's the only experience I've had with that, uh, with Bushmills prior to this. But uh, so let's go ahead and uh, check the uh, color on this one out, uh, which is a kind of just uh, really straight on gold. It's not necessarily pale, but it's not really uh, like an amber either. It's sort of just kind of a golden wheat sort of color to it. Uh, I believe that this is also, in addition to being aged in, uh, finished in sherry casks, uh, it is also aged in uh, previously charred uh, uh, bourbon uh, barrels as well. So it uh, does have a bit of a uh, kind of a darker color than just a standard, especially the standard Bushmills. I remember being very light in color, um, but not really any red tinges or anything from those sherry casks. Uh, though uh, we'll go ahead and get into the nose and see if there's anything coming from that sherry on the nose here. And on the nose, definitely, definitely very forward with that uh, with those sherry notes. Just this really sort of really fruity kind of um, uh, sweet aroma going. And Irish whiskeys, to me at least, are usually very fruity on their own to begin with. But this is a much more, uh, much more, much more depth to this to this kind of fruit kind of aroma. Like a red berries, maybe a little cranberry even, and then a lot of that oak that you would get from like a sweet kind of red wine. So that uh, sherry wine note, uh, sort of a red berry note. A little bit of vanilla and maybe a little bit of honey as well. Let's just go ahead and go right into the uh, flavor on this one. And while the aroma is pretty sweet, you think maybe you're gonna get a, a fairly sweet whiskey on the uh, front of the palate at least, 
it's actually a bit of more of a dry experience. Um, that oak and that sherry definitely come through uh, really up front, mostly oak and sherry. But then you get a good bit of that uh, maltiness on the uh, middle of the palate. That uh, single malt really comes through as well, which is nice. Then on the back end, you get um, a bit of a sweet finish with, uh, you know, with a good bit of like red berry kind of flavor going on. Uh, but it's really interesting because a lot of times I'll get something like a, a a whiskey or a spirit or whatever it may be that has a dry uh, or a, a sweet uh, kind of uh, taste at the at the front of the palate, but then it finishes dry. This one starts dry and finishes sweet. Second uh, taste, get more of that vanilla, vanilla and honey. And there's also a good bit of uh, spiciness as well, which I would almost maybe imagine coming from maybe a little bit of the grain, that 20% grain, but uh, uh, also from uh, the uh, bourbon uh, barrels that it's aged in as well. Could be picking up some spice from that. And then just uh, third taste going in, a lot more of the oak coming through, a lot more of the kind of woody notes coming through on it as well. Mouthfeel is fairly thin. It is 80, 80 proof, 40% uh, alcohol, so not a very uh, uh, long finish or anything to it, uh, but uh, you do get those sherry notes that kind of linger around on the palate uh, a bit after uh, after a few sips, so... Um, but nothing really, as, as far as like a finish or anything goes, nothing uh, really long or anything as, as far as that's concerned. But you are left with, again, that uh, sort of a sherry note and the uh, and uh, a bit of that spice as well. Uh, so overall, uh, I believe that this is very much uh, easily taking the place of the best Irish I've tried so far. Uh, like, again, I've, as I said, I've had... Jameson, Standard Bushmills, Tullamore Dew, uh, really that's about it. Proper 12, the Conor McGregor uh, Irish Whiskey, which I just kind of wanted to try uh, to see what it was all about, which pretty much on par with uh, Standard Jameson, Standard Bushmills, nothing too crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is definitely a step up for me as far as uh, Irish whiskeys go, and also an introduction to the uh, Sherry Whiskey uh, part of the market, so uh, really enjoy that as well. It adds that one extra character uh, to a whiskey that really uh, kind of helps make it stand out. But I do recommend picking it up if you see it. The uh, Bushmills Black Bush, I believe they also have a Red Bush as well, which is only aged in uh, ex bourbon barrels, and I believe is a bit younger than this one as well. But uh, the sherry cask finish on this is really nice. I think the sherry cask. Uh, really adds an extra character to it that it would not have otherwise um, even though it is uh, leaning on that uh, single malt uh, in the mash bill but the uh, sherry cask really helps it uh, kind of reach a different level so so really best uh, Irish whiskey I've had so far and uh, would check it out if you uh, do come across it um, I would like to try other Irish whiskeys from here on out uh, now that I'm sort of getting uh, more into that uh, area of whiskey Teeling, I've heard about uh, Red Breast 12 for sure. Some of those other ones um, that are up there as far as uh, uh, Irish whiskey fans push on on uh, people that are more interested in getting into the style. Uh, so that's my review on the uh, Bushmills Black Bush guys. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching.